Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold for the Nintendo DS Part 28. And today we will continue our journey to Lavender Town as we head north and battle another trainer. Ugh! Do you have after school study sessions? I'm 29, what do you think? I'm well past college, dude. You are challenged by school kid Travis. Travis, a slick name. And he's got a voodoo. Hey, voodoo, work your voodoo. Yeah, very bad ride there. I'm sorry for that one. Anyways, Fire Blast. Let's roast this plant. You know, Voodoo actually learns a pretty, uh, some pretty good moves. I mean, it learns Extra Sensory and uh, Shadow Ball. Well, as a Roserade, of course. But it can also learn them as a, as a baby Voodoo when you breed one from an egg. So strong! I know. You see my muscles? I'm flexing them right now. Okay, uh, nothing up here. Let's take it. Yeah, I'll cut this bush down and battle that trainer. I could use all the experience I could muster. Kingler use cut. Let's put the clamp down on that bush. And talk to this woman. Do you know which is the cutest Pokemon in the world? It's Chansey, of course. I say Chansey, and that's final. I will give you something good if you can bring me a Chansey. Chansey! Chansey! Hope you like my chanty cry. I did the best I could with what I got. Come on, Dragonair. Follow me. Oh! And I could have sworn I battled this guy on the last part, but I guess I didn't. My dream is to fly with my beloved bird Pokemon. And what bird do you have? Is it a turkey? Because I'm actually kind of hungry for some. Bird Keeper Roy. Roy's our boy! No, he's not. Alright, Dragonair. Let's slam this Fero with a nice stab dragon rush. And it didn't miss! Hooray! And that should easily one-shot the Fero who has brittle defenses. Good job, Dragonair! And next up we have is another Fero! And for this Fero we're going to use... Dunsparce! Show your shiny scalp! Let the sun bounce off his head and blind the adversary. Alrighty, uh, headbutt spam. And I just got a purple glove right to the face. That kind of hurt. The Dunsparce takes it like a beast because he's got so much HP. And let's continue to spam headbutt. As Firo fails... Oh, what the... Ah, Firo used a, uh, mirror-removed headbutt. Which, well, it did get stab on it, too, because it's a normal move, but whatever. Dunsparce still shrugged that off like it was nothing. Bird Keeper Roy is done. I could dream, but I can never fly. And apparently you can't wild the sword either and get red hair. Alright, let's go up here and fight this half-bald guy. You have anything snazzy to say? Let me tell you, I had a hard time catching my prize Pokemon! I'll bet. Did you go and steal it from the game corner? Oh my god, it's Pokefan Carter. What does he have? A Bulbasaur! Alright, Dragonair. Time to roast and toast this plant with a light bulb for a back. Or an onion for a back. Any of the two could work, really. Alright, Bulbasaur. You are done. Now get on my dinner plate. Alright, we got a Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle! Um, let's see here. Let's use my Espeon, my Psychic Kitty of Doom. Time to spam my psychic waves of power. Too bad Espeon can't like lift stuff up, lift stuff up, and uh, lift that, yeah! lift stuff up and telekinetically slam it like Ermac can. That would be pretty pro. Maybe you could do that with like the newest uh, psychic move, Psy Shock or Psy Strike. I forgot what the hell that one's called. It's a fifth gen psychic move. I forgot the name of it. I think it was Psy Shock or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see, Charmander. Hey, eh? let's um keep battling. Okay, Charmander, you little fire dino. Not even worth spamming Psychic. You're gonna die to a Shadow Ball. A big black slime ball to the, fla the face. Oh my god, I can't even talk right now. Almost said Flace. What the hell is a Flace? Ugh. My horrid grammar and speech. Awaa! Yes, I awaa at my bad speech, too. Okay, let's go up here. Come on, Dragonair, no slacking. Sometimes I go back to the places I met my Pokemon. They bring back good memories. 
I see. And what Pokemon do you share your good memories with, Trevor? So far, a Trevor and a try this. Psyduck. Psyduck. And a Dragon Rush stab. Boom. Goodbye, you fat ducky. I can see why Psyduck drowns in Misty's pool. He's so fat, his weight just pulls him under. Where did I meet this Psyduck? I don't know. You're the one who caught it. Anything snazzy to say, Dragonair? That guy's a prick. Oh, okay. Dragonair is listening intently to the sound of the waves. For a minute, I thought Dragonair was just gonna say something bad about that trainer, but oh well. My weight puts me in my uh, uh, my weight puts me in the featherweight class. Huh? What do you mean that doesn't sound very strong? Well, if you're a bird trainer, it doesn't make you sound strong. Cause I'm gonna knock the feathers off of you. Your Fero doesn't scare me. I've battled many already in this part. Yours won't be any different. Dragon Rush. And I missed it. Damn. And I got a purple glove to the face, but Dragonair shrugs that off. Alright, that Dragon Rush connected. Good job, Dragonair. Do I get a crit? No, I don't. Just straight out one-shots it. Awesome. And Bird Keeper Josh can go back to joshing. I lost as lightly as a feather or whatever you said. I don't care. Let's move this along. It was fun battling you. I'd love to trade phone numbers with you. Please? Come on, let's trade numbers. No, I got enough numbers on my phone. Oop! Are you saying you think I'm so weak I don't measure up as an opponent? Nah, uh, take it as you will. Oh, you got anything to say, buddy? Hello, just when you at least expected, I am Cameron the Photographer. You look so photogenic, why not have a picture taken? Um, sure, why not? Alright then, get yourselves ready. That I shall. Cheese, I think. I only like cheese on a pizza. <laughs> and there's my whole party. Good, good, we've got a nice picture. You can see all the pictures on your PC. Thank you, Cameron, I'll see you later. Now we're on Route 13, as we battle even more trainers. Yeah, folks, we're a long way away from uh, Lavender Town right now. I should go to a rock tunnel to get myself an Onyx. You keep your Onyx away from me, buddy. I don't swing that way, Hiker Kenny. And he's got a Sand Slash, which looks like a Super Saiyan 3 with its big-ass thorns on its back. Oh, let's see, we're going Dragon Rush. Go! I don't think I'll one-shot it, but I should get close. Alright, I did one-shot it. Sand Slash has some stellar physical defense, so... Kind of surprised me I one-shotted it. But I do have a massive level advantage going in my favor there. Alright, uh, we got a Golem coming out, huh? Or a Graveler, I didn't quite see. I was paying attention to my Pokemon list down below. Alright, Kingler. Time to put the clap on the Graveler. Grind it to Gravel Dust with Surf. Hopefully I'll learn that Blasted Crab Hammer technique soon. I really want that move. But Surf is still strong enough for uh, Rock types to have a quad weakness. Rock Ground types in particular. Alright, oh, now we got a Golem. Alright, that'll be fun. Alright, Kingler. Time for a true test of your Surf's ability. Let's go. Drown that giant boulder with a head. And Golem was no match for the raw power that is Kingler. And player defeated Hiker Kenny. I lost! Yes, you did. Now go cry to someone who cares. The same opponent, the same Pokemon, but the battle results are different every time. I'd like to battle with you again. Let's trade phone numbers. Uh, how about no, I have enough on my list to deal with. I see, well that's fine by me. I've always got my mountain. Go away, person on the phone. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go into my bag and just switch the screen. I don't want to deal with that stupid foam. Alrighty, folks. I'm going to be right back for a moment because I want to save in case the sprite glitch strikes. I don't want to lose my progress, so I'll be right Alrighty, back. Alrighty, folks. I'm back from my Glacier Freeze Gatorade break. My throat really needed it. Anyways, let's continue along this route and battle more trainers. I can fit in a quick battle while I'm in the midst of preparing a meal. What do you got? Six hands? Freak. Anyways, we'll see what he has here. You are challenged by Camper Tanner. Are you a Tanner from Full House? I don't know. He's got a pseudo Wudo, that's what I know. Alright, Dragonair. Let's go for a stab Dragon Rush and hopefully one-shot it. Should do a heap of damage regardless. 
Come on, Pseudo Wudo, die! Ah! He didn't fall. And he hits me with a stab rock slide. That's gonna hurt a little bit. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's go for an extreme speed and take this thing out. From that health, it should die, no problem. I don't care if it resists a normal move. It's gonna die from that range. See? I told you so. Okay, what does he have next? Oh, that's it! Oh, I'm hungry! Sorry, you're not getting my grub. Go find your own. Hey, how about we- Oh, God! No! I don't want any more phone numbers! Don't worry, I'm a really nice camper. I don't care if you're nice, I have enough people on the damn phone already, dude. God. You think I spend all day calling people? Alright, what do you got, buddy? Oh, I think I already fought this dude. Let me talk to him, just in case. Uh, no, 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 I don't want it. I don't want your number. Ugh. I guess I did already battle him. Alright, it's your turn. I think this is a picnicker. Why is it I always get the urge to whistle when walking through nature? Uh, I don't know. I can't answer that for you. You have, a, you have the grass whistle Pokemon move? I don't know. Picnicker Ginger. For a minute, I thought it said Picnicker Gengar. I was gonna say a Pokemon trainer named after a Pokemon? How awkward is that? Anyways, Dragon Rush. Boy, that's overpowering a poor little Wizmer. I probably could have killed it with an extreme speed, but oh well. At least I guaranteed the Wizmer's defeat. And Ginger is defeated. Go back into the Spice Cabinet. Okay, um, let's go over here and fight this next trainer. You know what, we're gonna give Dragonair a little rest. Now I'm actually gonna have Espeon do some battling for a while now. Wanna mix it up a little bit, make it more fun. Alright, Espeon, your turn to battle. Let's see what my second kitty of doom could bring to the table. Collect water! Don't let the fire go out! Look out for wild Pokemon! Let's go, Campfire! You have a Pokemon named Campfire? You are challenged by Camper Clark. Oh my god, it's Superman disguised as a camper! Alright, Espeon, time to use Stab Psychic and crush that Buizel. Crush that Buizel like a flat tire, I think. Looks like it has a tire around its throat, but it's actually a tube. A swimmy tube of some kind. Clapper Clark defeated. Pfua! I think that's how you pronounce it. Pfua! I can't even try. Alright, Espeon, you got anything clever to say? He just smiles. Espeon is coming along happily. Good job, Espeon. Now jog with me. All the way to the end of this round as we battle another bald guy. There's no bald bull. Bow down before my regal Pokemon. Yeah, you better go find someone else to do that, because I'm not. You bow down to me, fool! Pokefan Alex. Oh, I see. This is the Pokemon that has all the kings in their name. Like Nido King. He's got C King, etc. Yeah, I see the little gimmick he has going on there. I'm not impressed. And don't mind me, I'm sipping my uh, Glacier Freeze Gatorade. Very good blue Gatorade, I must say. Very refreshing to the throat. Alright, next up we got Slowking. Will you switch your Pokemon? No, I don't want to. Stay in the battle. Alright, now we got a slow king. Alright, we're gonna use Shadow Ball and waste it. That's why Espeon packs Shadow Ball. To take out other Psychics. Who needs a Dark type or a Bug type? I don't. And Slow King's out of my hair. And Espeon is level 58. Uber epicness. And... Are you freaking kidding me? A Magikarp? Ugh. You know what? Let's just battle. There's no royalty with a Magikarp! Other than the little yellow fin on, the, on its head that looks like a crown, but bleh. That doesn't really count. You're not worthy to get hit by a Psychic. Dive to a Shadow Ball. Level 65, really? Really? You're not gonna evolve it to a Gyarados then? Stupid ass. How? How dare you mock royalty? I don't really call a level 65 Magikarp royalty. More like blowiness. Alright, what's over here? Anything worthwhile? Besides a long running race over here? Okay, um... Yeah, you just talk. Okay, well, I think we already battled you. Let's continue! Come on, Espeon, keep up. Don't want to lose you. Man, this is a giant fence maze here. 
Hopefully we get out of this fence maze soon enough. I don't know where to go. I'm hoping I'm just going the right way. Hey, we got another bold guy. I'll go take this one out well, along the way. Why not? It's more experience and more money. Ha 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 ha! Would you like to fight my pack of Pikachu? Your pack of Pikachu? No, I'd rather not. Pokey fan Joshua. No, don't throw the little kid in. Even though he's wearing a Pikachu outfit, that doesn't count. All right, psychic, kill the rat. I didn't see if this guy had six Pikachus, but we'll kill them all quick enough. All right, another Pikachu. Let's uh keep battling. Yes, he has all Pikachu. This could be a this could be a while. Shadow Ball spam. Espeon's got high enough special attacks, so Shadow Ball is gonna waste it regardless of lack of stab. It don't matter. Pikachu is not pathetic. And keep battling. Pikachu! And Shadow Ball. Fear my pointy ears, Pikachu. They are much sharper than yours. Useless crit. Would have died anyway. Only give me crits when I need it, game. Stop giving me stop giving me crits to things that I can kill on my own. Yeah, suck on that, Pikachu. Eat that black licorice ball of death. And 561, Espeon just racking up the experience here. Now we keep battling. Just gonna spam more Shadow Ball. Spam that K button. That's how I have my attack button set to on the keyboard. Bam! Die! Kill the yellow rodent! Oh man. They, they should really come up with a better Pokemon mascot. I mean, I'm getting sick of Pikachu. He's everywhere. I mean, give Purrin a chance to shine a little bit, why don't you? Or hell, even Gyarados can make a good mascot. Gyarados is so overused in the competitive environment. Or hell, give it to the new Haxorus. The new broken dragon. My Pikachu! Yeah, your Pikachu was no match for me. Alrighty, let's go. Ooh, another double battle coming up. Let's see. I think we're going to have Typhlosion and Dugtrio team up. That'll be an interesting combo. Plus, both of them haven't been in a battle yet in this part, so why not? Double battle time! Let's go! I'll give you a little hint. Don't you think my girlfriend's much stronger than I am? Women who don't take love seriously and who are reckless might get hurt. Okay then. Let's rumble, guy and gal. Young couple Tim and Sue. Kadabra and Psyduck. Awkward mix. And they will get cremated by my combo. Alright, we're gonna flame... Actually, uh... Flamethrower the Kadabra. And we're going to use... Sucker Punch on the Psyduck, I guess. Why not? Good, it tried to attack me. And hopefully Sucker... Oh, man, it survived. Yeah, that Psyduck was probably going to use a water move on Dugtrio. Hopefully Flamethrower takes out the Kadabra. Yeah, make it disappear! <laughs> not really a bad joke, it was just playing off its name. And Zen Headbutt. And where's that directed to? Oh, my Dugtrio. He should shrug that off, and he does indeed. Okay, we're gonna go for a flamethrower on Psyduck. And in case that doesn't kill another Sucker Punch. That'll go- that'll work out well. And Sucker Punch failed because Psyduck didn't use an attacking move. It was probably gonna use Growl or Tail Whip or something like that then. And Flamethrower finishes off the Psyduck, I had no doubt. It's unevolved for God's sakes. Alright, young couple Tim and Sue have bitten the big one. You're the strongest! Waha! Waha yourself! So, how about we- No, 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 no! Oh, okay, that's too bad. So oh, God! I'm gonna throw this phone in the water! Alright, who's this blondie? I'll take my phone aggression out on him. Agility is the key attribute of bird Pokemon. Yes, well, you're not gonna get any agility off on my watch, Bird Keeper Perry. Yes, it is going to be far-fetched, ha ha ha. Yeah, I know, terrible. Flamethrower this far-fetched now. 
grilled a little birdie with a with a thing with a leak. Yeah, that's the name of it. I forgot the name for a minute there. Birdkeeper Perry defeated. You beat me with your speed, and you failed to beat me with your words. Now let's go. Jog across this little wooden bridge. And it's a trainer camping out behind the trees. How dare you? Hey, 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 how about we bring out your Pokemon in mind for a battle? How about... No, 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 I got places to go. Made an unintentional rhyme there. Picnic Piper. Time for you to pay the Piper. <laughs> oh, no. Another horrible bad joke. I got quite a few good ones today. All right, let's grill this spoink. Have some barbecue pork. I like that. How dare you rest, Spoink! I'll make you pay by throwing your pink pearl into the water. Alright, let's hit it with another flamethrower. Die, Spoink! I will make you croak by saying oink! Good, stay asleep so I can roast you some more. Burn that little curly tail of yours. Anyone want a grilled black piggy? I know I do. And Picnic or Piper is the, is completely uh, dead. Whatever. And I missed what he said or her what she said. He said, she said, it said. I don't care. Next, take out my Pokemon. Just look at their coloring and plumage. Uh, look at your plum. Okay. I guess you're a big fruit lover, huh? And apparently a bird keeper as well. And he's named after Brett the Hitman Heart. You're not as epic as him, because you got a Talo. And you don't have a world title to your name either. Goodbye, Talo. Now you go to heaven and sport a Halo! <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I don't know. I'm just awful today, folks. I don't know why. I think I drank a little too much Gatorade. Firo, keep battling. Alright, Firo. Time for you to suck on some spices. Courtesy of my flamethrower. That will be too hot to handle. More so than a jalapeno pepper. I seriously don't know how those people in the, in the circus can actually eat fire or stuff it down their throat with a stick. Shoot! Not good enough! I mean, seriously, how do they not burn their throats doing that? There's gotta be some type of trick to it. Alright, Route 12. Well, we're almost at Lavender Town. Just a little more to go. I think once I get there, I'm probably gonna cut it off. Pokemon battles lure people in! I see what you did there, fisherman. And now I'll throw you in the water for your bad joke and drown you, Kyler! Who the hell names a person Kyler? I can understand Tyler, if that makes sense. Kyler? Really? Kyler, come down and get your dinner! <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying to... So I, was just, nah, I don't even know. I'm so hyperactive in this part, folks. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with this guy, because he keeps sending out pathetic Magikarp, which I'm not even going to waste my time with on Typhlosion. Go, Dunsparce! Yeah, Dunsparce, slam your shiny scalp into this Magikarp's face. Try not to bruise your head on its pointy crown. Royalty, my foot. Magikarp is garbage. It deserves to be thrown in the incinerator. Evolve it to Gyarados or it's completely useless, people. Uh, let's see. Headbutt again. Headbutt spam is all that's needed. It's level 18. I mean, it's gonna die to, like, a freaking I don't know, tackle. And Fisherman Kyler is done. My Pokemon bucket is empty. I don't know what bucket you've been looking into. I, uh, another person that... No! 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 Next person who asks me for my phone number, I'm gonna freaking rip their face off and feed it to a Carvana. Don't ask me for my number after I beat you. What's most important in our everyday lives? Seriously, it seems like you could add everybody in this game to your phone. I mean, you might as well do that. Just freaking everybody asks you. Finally, I got rid of something worthy of my time. Intimidate. Owies. That's gonna hurt a little bit. Let's go with Sunny Day so its stab water move won't do much to me. I'm pretty sure Gyarados is packing Aqua Tail. No! He canceled out my Sunny Day, you bastard! Looks like we're gonna have a weather warfare here. No! I want my son! 
You're not getting your rain dance. I plan to hit this thing with the solar beam. This flamethrower is not going to be very effective, and neither is going. And neither is focus blast though. Solar beam's the only thing that's going to hit this thing neutrally, so I might as well go for it. Should do a decent chunk of damage. That does well over half. That's good. I will happily take that. And I'm pretty confident Flamethrower should be able to finish it from this range, so... I mean, I got Stab, I got Charcoal, plus I got Sunny Day, so... Flamethrower should take it out from this range, no problem at all. Even if it resists. And it does. Good job, Typhlosion. Alrighty, Roo. Typhlosion, level 57. Oh, yeah. Eruption! Hell freaking yeah! Eruption is a beastly-ass move, folks. And I'll explain what it does. Eruption 150 base power special and 100% accurate, but the but the kick it the, the kicker is uh, hang on, let me just try to get this move on. Don't give up on eruption. I meant to actually learn it. I'm sorry, I was trying to explain something and I got confused. Uh, forget a move. Yes, let's forget it. I'll explain it in a moment. I'm gonna get rid of flamethrower. Actually, wait a minute, before I do that, let me see. Oh, eruption's only got three uses. I don't care, I'm gonna get it. What Eruption does, essentially, it's a 150 base power special fire move. And every time your health goes down, it gets weaker, so... You gotta make sure your health is in top form for, for you to get the most out of Eruption. So if you got full power, you're gonna be hitting with full force. Alright, we're gonna keep battling. Let's see how much a Sunny Day boosted Eruption with Charcoal and Stab does to this Gyarados. I wouldn't be surprised if it one-shotted it, even if it resists. 150 base power fire special. Charcoal, stab, sunny day boost. Plus Typhlosion's naturally good special attack. I mean, you got a lot of boosts here. Look at that! One shot into Gyarados. That's amazing. And I'm sure my level advantage has something to do with it, too. <laughs> I won't lie, level advantage did play a role there as well. Keep battling. I think I got one more turn of sun left, so hopefully I can get another eruption off. And thankfully, I'm not using my physical attack at all. Eruption again! I love Sunny Day Charcoal Stab Boosted Eruption. It one-shots Gyaradoses. Oh yeah! Goodbye, Gyarados. And I'm glad I got to show you guys Eruption. Pretty pro move. The answer is coming up next. Yes. It is. You suck. Now get over yourself. Alright, uh, let's see, we got another trainer here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. You know, after the, after I battle this trainer, I think I'm going to call it an LP part, folks, because we're really running low on time. We're almost at the 30-minute mark already. And we're not even at Lavender Town yet, that's crazy. It might take me two more full parts just to get the Cerulean. Alright, let's battle this guy, and then we're going to have to cut it off. Bussa, 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 bussa! Okay, 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 okay! Let's fight! Third Keeper Gale, who apparently can't say anything but bossa bossa bossa! Or waka waka waka! Alright, let's go with, um... Oh man, I got all ground moves, that's not good. Okay, Sucker Punch is clearly the way to go here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it out in one Sucker Punch. Oh god, I'm gonna need all three to hit. Hopefully Firo keeps attacking me, so I can keep using it. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I don't think Doug Trio's gonna win this fight. Unless I have a PP up or something. Or if I get like a crit sucker punch. And this thing is not attacking me. Great. I only got ground moves, so I can't hit this thing at all. I have to switch. Alright, Doug Trio, you're absolutely useless for this fight. Let's go with uh, Typhlo uh, Kinglar. Haven't liked Kinglar had too many fights, so we'll bring him in. And Roost. Oh, now I could have hit it with a ground move. Damn it. I could have left Doug Trio in. You could have landed an EQ now. Oh well. Already made the move. Can't change it now. Let's go with the Stab Surf. Oh god. Firo's continuing to boost its uh, speed up a little bit. Alright, Firo. Time to drown you in your long neck in the water. Alright, nearly took it out with one Surf. Oh, come on, Firo. It's just stalling for time here. Stop spamming Roost! Ugh. 
That agility is going to make it annoying to take down. I really wish I could have got a crit surf there. Ah, Firo trying to surf me. That's a joke. Mirror move. Yeah, King Lord laughs at your uh, pathetic surf. No stab and you have a non-existent special attack. That practically tickled King Lord. Alright, now the- oh, oh man, this battle's not over yet. Alright, he's got a Spiro. After we club this thing, we're done. Alright, stab Surf, she easily one-shot it. Goodbye, Spiro, flap your wings in agony. And that's the agony I'm talking about. Bird Keeper Gale defeated. Pew, 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 pew. Actually, sounds like a gun. Or a slingshot. Or he, it, she, I don't know. Anyways, folks, we're done for this part, so stay tuned for Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold for the Nintendo DS Part 29, when we'll hopefully work our way to Lavender Town, talk to some people, heal our Pokemans, and quite possibly get the Rock Tunnel done, in addition to the Power Plant. I don't know if I'll be able to fit all that in, but I'll give it my best shot when we get there. Anyways, folks, see you then.